My name is Abu Bokas and I'm a fourth year student at Plovdiv Medical University. Being in year four, my typical day is usually quite busy as it consists of hospital practices as well as lectures at the university, but I do enjoy every minute of it. I usually wake up around 6.30 in the morning. Depending on how much time I have, I'll either have breakfast at home or grab a cereal bar if I'm running late. At 10 past 7, I leave my apartment to make my way to the first class. I have a friend that lives on the same road as mine, so we meet up in front of my house to get a taxi together. The private hospital Caspella is a five minute journey away by taxi. As soon as I arrive, I'll head straight to the changing rooms to drop my belongings and put on my lab coat. Firstly, I will attend a class in the rheumatology ward, which is located in the second block. The great thing about our group is that it only consists of eight people, which makes the ward runs much more efficient in terms of learning, as opposed to being part of a bigger group. We usually start with our professor going over the theoretical key points, which is then followed by ward rounds. This is where we get to examine the patients and discuss about the different cases, as well as observing the different techniques carried out by the doctor, we also get the chance to have hands-on experience. One of the routine diagnostic methods used on this ward is the ultrasound, and our students often get the opportunity to carry this out on actual patients. It's already 9 o'clock. The rheumatology practical has ended, and I need to make my way to the State Hospital St. George's, which is only a short walk of 12 minutes. The benefit of being in a state hospital is the number and variety of cases we come across. I will now have a practical session in the surgical diseases ward. We follow the doctor around from patient to patient where he gives us details about each case in English. We often have English speaking patients, but in case we don't, we ask our questions in English and our supervising doctor talks to the patients in Bulgarian and then translates the information back to our group. There are a lot of scheduled operations going on at this time and we're frequently asked to assist. But before going into surgery, I have to carry out this specific sanitary method known as the surgical hand scrubbing. I will then scrub up into a sterile surgical robe and pair of gloves with the assistance of a nurse. As I'm still on a learning curve, I carry this task out alongside my doctor just to make sure that I do them properly. Here I'll be assisting one of the surgeons to carry out the excision of necrotic tissue following a trauma. The amazing thing for me is that I'll be able to put in practice the key methods that I've been taught and it'll also prepare me for the real life duties of a doctor. I'm back at university to attend a haematology lecture in the auditorium complex. This is usually with all the students from the fourth year. The professors are very friendly and the lectures are very interactive too, in the sense that the students are involved and questions are consistently asked. It's finally 1.45 and time for a well-deserved break. I usually head to the canteen with my friends where a wide selection of hot food is available as well as fruits, salads and even desserts. There are different meat, fish and vegetarian options available on the menu every single day. For us, lunchtime is a great opportunity to catch up between classes. Once I've finished my meal, I head back to the auditorium complex for a pharmacology lecture. The great thing is that from lectures to practicals, everything is in English. Most lecturers are happy to share out their presentations with their students, and we're also allowed to use voice recording devices. The lecture ends at 4 o'clock, but my day is not over yet. I still have one more class to attend, which is a pathoanatomy practical that takes place on the main university campus. During this class, we get to observe the progression of certain diseases with the naked eye, as well as through a microscope. Each pathoanatomy classroom has a flat screen TV, whereby the teacher loads up different aspects and pictures of the subject. It makes it so much easier for us to have an idea of what we're supposed to be looking for, and also shows us different examples of the diseases at different stages. As soon as class has finished, I make my way back to the apartment, which is only five minutes away. Once I'm home, I cook dinner and eat before I get ready to head out for football. 
The game takes place at an outdoor six-a-side pitch. Along with other medical students, originating from countries all over the world and not just the UK. Playing football is a great way to blow off some steam before my day ends. Exhausted from football, I'll take a shower straight away when I'm home. I'll relax for some time on the couch while I listen to music, surf the net or even watch a series. Fiber optic cable and ADSL are both available in Bulgaria. The internet is very fast and super cheap too. Now it's work time. I usually start by reading over certain topics that I will need for the following days. This helps me grasp a better understanding of the subject. Having finished my work, I practically have no energy left at this point and I usually drag myself to bed and go to sleep. Being a medical student, each day has something new to offer and I'm grateful towards Study Medicine Europe for their continuous contribution and support. Yes, medicine can be challenging but you'll still have plenty of time to enjoy being an undergraduate. Without a doubt, an incredible experience and the best time of your life.